All right, so we're at chapter three. Oh, geez, I have to look at my notes. H, uh, we're going to the system menu, which is the last uh, page here. So we've got uh, system menu here. We've got a couple of controls. We've got the LCD contrast that allows you to change the contrast of the LCD there. Pretty straightforward. I'm gonna leave mine on two like I had it. We've got our mic boost. Now we set that on low by default, but essentially it's a, about a plus six dB um, gain that is added to the mic input. Uh, we've been finding that, that people were having to turn up the gain a little bit too high. So we gave them a little bit of a boost digitally that they could do uh, if they found, you know, if you find that you're singing and, you're, and your mic volume knob is turned way, way up, you might wanna try the low boost or the, even the high boost. So we've got a secondary setting here for high, and then of course you can turn it off as well. Uh, so maybe if you're kind of a belter and you can't get it low enough, you know, turn that off and that will uh, help with that. Global key. All it means is that the key that's set by your guitar, or you know, if you've if you've set a key in in a particular preset, that any other preset that follows is going to be that particular key. So if if you've set keys in a bunch of presets, but you've set key to global here as well, those keys are going to be ignored. It's whatever key you've set it to that day or you know in that session is going to be the key that is overriding over all of your presets. That's very useful for some people. Completely not useful for other people, depending on how you set things up. Tuner reference just means your reference pitch of A440 for tuning. If you tune to something different than A440, you can adjust it here. Uh, auxiliary in type, we've got tracks and we've got live. And uh, with tracks, we slightly delay the incoming auxiliary signal in order to pick up the, uh, the key and scale a little bit better from it. Now, of course, you won't hear that audibly once the track is running. Um, it's not like you hear a delay, for example, but it's like if you were to press the button very quickly, you know, tap on your iPod or, or whatever it is or on your, um, on your computer, you would hear a slight delay, like a slight lag between, you know, the button presses and then the music starts a split second later, and that's just the little buffer kind of filling up. If you want to do something where you're, uh, say, processing a vocal track or something like that, and you don't want to have that that delay happen, um, you know, otherwise you get you know things that are out of sync, then you'd want to tune, turn this to live. So if you want everything to be happening live in the moment is the way I think of it when I think of live versus tracks. Um, I'm either playing to tracks and I want it to be really accurate, or it's live and it's in the moment and I don't want to have any delay because I'm recording it or something like that. Now, of course, the, the slight confusion comes in, well, what if I'm playing to a track live? I would still set it to tracks mode because you're playing to tracks and uh, you know the, the audience and, and yourself, you're never gonna have a perception that the track is somehow behind you or ahead of you or anything like that. It'll just start slightly after you press the button is when you'll actually hear it in your headphones, but then you're playing along to it as normal all the way through. Uh, it's just gonna be more accurate in that way. Global tempo, uh, normally it's set to on, um, so it responds, you know, tap tempo responds, uh, you know, sort of if you change presets, that tempo changes with you. If you want a particular preset itself to have its own tempo and you want to save that tempo, you would turn global tempo to off. And that would just mean that you can say this preset is saved at 130 BPM and this other preset is saved, you know, at 140 BPM. And I want to make sure that that's the same every single time that I get to that preset. Uh, so if you're, uh, if you're playing specific songs that require those tempos and you don't want to tap it in, you'd want to make sure you turn global tempo off. And now as a part of this system page, um, we'll talk about, you know, 3H Point one, um, the, just the last page here is just the product info page. It tells you the firmware version, the serial number, and the manufacturing date of your unit, and um, that's the kind of information you might want to have handy if you're ever talking to support or anything like that. So it's just a good place to know that that's where the product info is. That brings us to the end of the setup section A through H, and we will then move on to some other stuff.